stepping into this open meeting space and choosing to participate in the Balanced View training is really the greatest kindness we can ever offer ourselves and anyone. In the Balanced View training we get to know something about ourselves that is forever open, forever welcoming all experience, clear and totally powerful. We get to know open intelligence and what we can see in our own experience if we just stop thinking for a moment we can identify this bright intelligence that's always present, always knowing, hearing my voice, feeling you sitting in that chair, feeling the breeze on your skin. Knows that you're thinking, feeling, sensing. And in short moments, we just come become acquainted with this intelligence. And instead of emphasizing all of the changing experiences in our, in our life, the data streams, emphasizing the emotions, the sensations and the thoughts, we just relax as the open intelligence that knows them all. Just relax as we are. Just get to know ourselves as we are. Let everything run wild and free. All thoughts, no matter how we may measure them or not measure them, label them or not label them, let them be as they are. Sensations, let them be as they are. In the moment of anything arising, any data stream, just relax completely. And see that it, on its own, self arises, flourishes, abides for a short moment and then resolves back into this ongoing open intelligence which is constant, wholly reliable, something we can always count on in our experience. And we see very naturally that open intelligence and data are completely inseparable, like the colour blue in the sky. We're never without open intelligence, we're never without the data. The data are always there, as is the open intelligence. And I see in my own experience, it's like getting, becoming friends with all data. Wow, that's so radical, get to become friends with all data. No longer struggling and resisting. And uh, basically being at war with myself declaring war on my data streams that certain ones make me a bad person. Naughty thoughts. Mustn't think those ones. Must have good thoughts all of the time. Totally impossible. So we just give up the struggle. Just give it up. Relax simply as we are. Let everything fresh and new in each moment shine forth everything gather in this moment of total perfection. This perfection we get to know when we just let everything be as it is. So when I wasn't on this constant effort to change my data streams, to change my thoughts and emotions into better ones. Like this idea I had of somewhere at some point being the perfect Lizzie. Like she's somewhere, I don't know. I don't know quite where she was, but she was somewhere out there and I was going to find her. <laughs> and I was going to pin her down and put her in a little box and keep her in my pocket. <laughs> totally, like, totally impossible, of course. I mean, it's fantasy. And just realising increasingly what, like, how heartbreaking it is that humanity has got to this point where we just think we're not of benefit. We think we're not of benefit. We think what we feel is wrong. Some things are right, some things are wrong. Loads of things are wrong. And so the balanced view is here to really set the stage right, give a level platform for us to get to know ourselves simply as we are, and fall in love with ourselves, and fall in love with reality, and find powerful solutions that will help everybody. 
And it starts with each of us in our own recognition of the inseparability of data streams from beneficial open intelligence. And I just see in my own experience what that brings about, just in my own life, like my little life. Just I, Before I met the Balance Seed training, everything was just so focused upon me and making sure I was okay. Because if I was okay, then I could start to be a benefit in the world in some way and help others. But until that point, until I had all the right data streams in place, it was, it was difficult. And uh, if I was having a good day, then it was like, woohoo, yeah, okay. Here we go, world. Okay, yeah, hi, hi, hi. You know, let's, hey, let's hang out. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you. Brilliant. Bad day. Oh. Actually, I'm not going to leave my room. That, that, you know that. How that happens? I'm just going to stay here. I'm not going to speak to. I'll speak to a couple of people only if they're nice to me. If they're not nice to me, it's like bye. I'm walking, and or I'm just going to ignore you. Like, oh my, so at the whim, so at the whim of our data streams. These passing, fleeting sensations and thoughts can't grasp them, can't pin them down, can't hold on to them. So don't try. Let everything flow as it is and see in it that there's something about us that is so available, so open, so beneficial, always. And we train this up, we warm this up, we warm this recognition up. <coughs> Our true fundamental identity as open intelligence. Can't shut it down, can't close in. So ultimately open. And this same open intelligence recognition is the same for everybody. We are such incredible beings. We are so incredible. And it's just time we got to know that. And no longer made ourselves small anymore. But really stood up, stand up for it. Live it, speak it out. Say, actually, I know something in my experience that is infallible, that's always reliable. And I want to live as it. I want to train that up and I want to know that about myself. I want to claim it, claim this right. And um, so that's what we do in the Balance You Training. And the Balance You Training offers a support system called the Four Mainstays, which is short moments of open intelligence. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until continuous. Simply letting everything be as it is. Letting yourself be as you are. Letting yourself be part of this great flow of experience. And seeing what happens for yourself. It's the greatest test in our own life. We take it into our own life. Test it out today. When you're going about whatever you do, just relax and let whatever that thought or emotion is be as it is. And see for yourself what happens. That's what I did. And it was just... It's truly the greatest decision I've ever made to let myself have a, take a short moment and then the second mainstay is the training and training media third mainstay is the trainer and the fourth is the community it's a a perfect set of support that will empower open intelligence in our own experience empower this recognition empower our great potency to be of benefit to all and all we need to do is show up be open to the support and show up because this recognition is so natural it's so it's already present open intelligence is already present and we just grow in assurance of that and it can and i just see for myself life can look any way and there's nothing greater than knowing this stability in ourselves. So that no matter what life circumstances are coming up, we know our go-to. Short moments of open intelligence and from there seeing what will be of most benefit, what will serve ourselves and others. And I see for myself having the confidence and power to, to act when needed and also discernment to see what is of benefit and also to care for myself greatly in all situations and, um, and having the complete support 
of the four mainstays for me in all life situations. It's some beyond my wildest dreams to live a life where that's the case. To know that there's a trainer, that I, my trainer that I can write to, can be in touch with, can bring to mind and know I am forever supported by her wisdom and her experience and a community of people who only ever see greatness in me and everyone. The culture that we are enacting moment by moment when we rely on open intelligence is one of such great profound benefit. I just see myself no longer able to see people as victims anymore, see people as powerful human beings, which is what they, everyone is. And to walk through life with this recognition, to not see people as their data streams, but see people as open intelligence. Wow, there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. Everybody wants to be seen like that, as exalted and powerful, open-hearted and purely loving. And so that's what we offer people, it's what we offer ourselves. I definitely didn't know about internalised depression before I came to the Balance View training, but I guess that's kind of the definition of internalised depression. <laughs> you don't know it's going on. Like you, ha you don't. I didn't have the support to recognise in myself what was happening. Um, growing up in society and training myself in an understanding that I've got to sort out my experience, I've got to be a good person and that looks a certain way and I have to live up to certain ideals and um, maintain a personal identity and, and all along basically being unkind to myself. Like, I wouldn't treat anyone else like that. Like, constantly telling myself I'm doing things wrong. That I'm bad. And then coming to the Balance View training, I see it took me a little while to relax and to just, on my, in my own way, start to see. From the very first moment of being involved with the Balance View training, the very first short moment, we start to see ourselves clearly. And I see for myself, it just grows from there. I see more and more data streams. So it's great if we see more and more data streams. If things start to become more intense, that's a great sign that we're letting everything be as it is. And we rely on the stability and openness of open intelligence. And we relax the oppression. And as we relax the oppression, we relax it for everybody. We see it for everyone. We exalt ourselves and all completely. So each short moment is, is just of such great contribution. Simply recognizing this moment as it is in its magnificent completeness. And then continuing on and seeing what comes from there. And then we have the entire four mainstays to support us. And, not, and just the community of people who are wanting to live this as well. Wanting to bring about social change from the grassroots based on open intelligence, rooted in it, rooted in the benefit of all.